Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some gameplay of me playing some Squad Deathmatch. In this video, I'm gonna respond to a post on bf3blog.com. Now, in my previous video, I also did this, but this is a different post. In my previous video, I responded to a blog post about different uh, features that they didn't want to see in Battlefield 3. And this post is mainly about uh, why Battlefield 3 needs more than four classes. In previous Battlefield games, uh, primarily Battlefield 2, there were seven classes. Special Forces, Sniper, Assault, Support, Engineer, Medic and Anti-Tank. All these different classes has, has very specific roles on a battlefield. The Special Forces is kind of a... Um, uh, how should I put it? A, a more like a, um, a sneaky kind of class. The Sniper is of course a Sniper class. Uh, the Assault is a Assault class. <laughs> the support class is equipped with an LMG and ammo crates so they can lay down supported fire and support the team with more ammo. You've got the engineer uh, which has a shotgun um, primarily and uh, tools to repair vehicles. You've got the medic which can revive and heal people with the med packs. And you've got the anti tank which has anti-tank um, weapons like rock launchers and similar stuff. So in Battlefield Bad Company and Bad Company 2, DICE has kind of merged different classes together so that you only end up with four classes. And I believe that to be a superior uh, system to the one in Battlefield 2. Uh, some of the reason is because when I the, the, when I play Battlefield 2, which is a very rare occasion, I must admit, it's kind of hard for me to kind of choose a class that I feel comfortable with because of the limi the limitations of that specific class. If you're playing anti-tank, you're equipped with an SMG and rockets, so you're kind of limited to kind of close quarters combat and being in buildings. You can't really take on distance, and while you can't do that with the engineer in Bad Company 2, uh, it's not that limited. You can still fix vehicles, you can kind of run around, support the tank a little, help him take down another tank or another vehicle, and kind of support your team a lot more with that one class. In the, uh, in the post, he says that uh, with the the, with all the classes, it tends to get a, uh, tends to get better team play inside the team because everyone is so um, dependent on the other classes. Say, for example, the assault class can only survive for so long without picking up another kit or uh, getting some ammo from the support class, and you're uh, always dependent on the medic for. Uh, for reviving or for more health because there's not regenerative health in Battlefield 2 so the only way to get more health is actually having a medic in the near vicinity. You're relying on the anti-tank to take out tanks and vehicles and the engineer for repairing your own vehicles and tanks. So all the classes are kind of dependent on each other um, and have very distinctive roles on the battlefield. One of the points that he makes in the post is that the assault class having the ammo boxes isn't optimal because they're not uh, active enough and putting out enough out enough um, ammo boxes because the assault class is made to kind of push forward and rush the enemy what, what, what are while putting out ammo boxes it oh, is yeah. kind of a supportive role What's so that? that these two um, tasks of the assault class in Bad Company 1 and 2 is kind of clashing and he says that these should be separated into two different classes like they were. I, however, believe that they actually merge quite nicely because the assault will put up put out an ammo box, 
at a at a position. He will then push, and the, uh, say the medic will kind of stay back with the ammo box and get resupplied. And others can do that too because most prefer uh, preferably the ammo box is behind cover. The assault class then rushes up, takes out the people that he needs to take out, and then puts out a new ammo box at his spot, preferably again behind cover. He then replenishes his own ammo. The medic can move up and heal him, or alternatively revive him, and then the assault can put out the ammo. And then the ammo can push further up and the rest of the team or his squad or what have you can move up to the new position with where the ammo is so i believe that it merges actually quite nicely and what you're hearing in the background here uh, i was talking to some friends on skype and there was just <laughs> they were just kidding around and i didn't bother to quit the the conference call while i was playing so J just try to ignore it. Just watch, watch the gameplay, rather. <laughs> um, so, and the um, in Battlefield 2, the support class, which has the ammo boxes, also has the LMG. While the LMG has actually been moved to the medic class, which actually emerges quite nicely. And he actually says that in the post that the medic class actually merges quite nicely. Uh, where it's not as prominent as he puts it. Because the medic class is a supportive role, even in uh, ba Battlefield 2. So the medic can kind of hold back, uh, provide some cover fire with the LMG because he can just l unload a load of bullets in a certain direction and give the assault time to kind of move up and flank them and put up ammo, uh, put out med kits or med boxes. Uh, where he is so that people can run up to him, get their health back and move on. And when the assault has cleared in a certain area or cleared the, ro uh, the route to the next uh, cover, the medic can run up, put out some uh, put out some uh, med kit, uh, put out a med kit and revive fallen teammates on the way or when he gets there and kind of support the assault class from there. And the engineer has a much larger role. It, it, the engineer is no longer impaired to when, if it meets a tank, it can actually take out the tank. Uh, while in, ba say, Battlefield 2, if the engineer met a tank, the only way to actually do some damage is actually unfix it. And that's actually quite hard in some situations. Sometimes it works out nicely. In some situations, it's near impossible. So the merger of the anti-tank and the engineer class also go really nice hand in hand. Those uh, roles actually go quite nice together. So one of the points of actually uh, widening the amount of classes back to um, seven is that Battlefield 3 is a success uh, is the successor of Battlefield 2 and not that company 2. And Therefore, they should widen out the classes again to make it a more true successor to the previous game. And while this is true, I do however disagree. When Battlefield 2 came out, the year was 2005, and since then, what's expected and what's become kind of the default in shooter games has really, really changed. And moving back to that kind of structure <laughs> may seem old and outdated and may actually turn a lot of people off. And especially people that have come to the Battlefield franchise in Bad Company 2. On the flip side though, he ha the writer has an excellent point in that on the PC, Battlefield 3 is going to support 64 players. That's twice the amount of players that Battlefield 2 has. That means that there are a lot more players that can actually choose those different classes. So, because of the limited amount of players in Bad Company 2, you also need to limit, limit the amount of kits or classes they can choose from. 
But with the um, increased amount of players, you can also increase the amount of classes to choose from and still have a decent amount of different players in each class without um, ruining the gameplay because of the lack of one specific class. Because of the reliability on each class in Battlefield 2, having too few players of a certain class in Bad Company 2 could lead to bad gameplay or lead to very... Uh, uh, very uneven stacked teams or you w would end up with a stacked team where they play played very well together because of the vi wide variety of classes they had while the other team might come out on the bottom because of the lack of the classes that were used. So you've got some considerations there. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to see what DICE does. So, that was the end of the match and the end of the video. I want to hear what you guys have to say, so write something down in the comments below. I hope to see you next time. Snackers.